Yeah, it's going to be a tough old game, um, but you know, I think Sean Wayne, you know, he's a Wigan boy and he's Wigan through and through, so he's not going to leave no um, stone unturned. He's going to make sure Wigan are there to um, play that tough game. And you know, um, what I've seen him do in the past with Wigan, you know, they turn up for him. They they all respect him as a coach, and uh, they want they won't want to send him out as a loser either. Where's your money? If you had to put if you had to put hundred quid in it now. Where would you be putting your money? I'm going with Wigan, you know. There's a few boys leaving, not just Sean Wayne, so they all want to go, want to go out on a, on a win. So, um, yeah, I reckon Wigan. Did just, you, just. Yeah, if you were going to put your money on it, it it'd, it'd be Wigan, wouldn't it? That's, that would be the safe one. But Wigan, I've always said, are either eight. When they play bad, they're eight out of ten. When they play well, they're nine out of ten. I don't think they ever get past nine out of ten, Wigan, right? Because they're too aggressive and they're just too whack, whack, whack. And that's what they do for 80 minutes, which is great and could possibly win in the grand final. But... Occasionally, Warrington might be six and a half, seven, and then come out with a ten. Yeah. That's just some magic, you know. Murdoch Masilla smashing over somebody on Josh the edge. Charnley, Josh Charnley, a wonderful try. Um, the guys at the back there, a, a wonderful line of coming up with something special, and they can come out with that ten out of ten. They did it this year in the challenge couple against Wigan. Yeah, and nil. they've done it again. St. Helens, they've raised the game when they need to at the right spot, and this year could be their year. I've always said as well that losing the challenge cup it's this year, year, mate. It's um, year could be the pill that they need to really make it their year and put that saying, that phrase to bed.